Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Bed, and thank you for joining me. The last time out, we solved the biomass problem with these coal power pods. TM. I am so happy getting away from biomass and having this reliable, easy to use, long lasting, small factory power generation is just amazing. We've got so many of them now up making our products, our parts, everything is going really well. Last episode was just great. And this episode is gonna be more of the same. I am a little tired of always saying I'm gonna to get to decorating eventually, yada, yada, yada. That smeltery right there, this one right here we're running through and under, they're just big blocks and I don't have silica or quartz crystal for decorations or windows or good walls or anything like that. And so right off the bat, let's head over here and find some quartz crystal. If you're not familiar with these quartz crystals, there are lots of spiders around here, so I'm a little on edge. <laughs> um, yep, there they are. They are 600 meters underground in this cave. So I'm gonna put all the infrastructure <laughs> out here and just run belts this whole, look at them all. Let's dance. Well, I made short work of those. Feels good, feels good. Okay, yes, so let's put a power pot out here. Uh, yep. And we've got water and I brought coal. You've seen me do this already, but I'll show you one more time this episode. To boot up a power pod, we do need a little bit of biomass. Just until the coal power generator kicks on. We'll also see it working by the battery storing charge. Brilliant. This feels weird already. I uh, have not really run a lot of power lines. Oh, that's right, there's gas in here. Hmm, we'll be fine. Like I said, I think we'll be fine. There we go. All right, a Mark II miner. Oh, I thought they were the other the other node must be pure I was pretty sure one of them was yeah the other one is oh see a big spider come here lovely missed Missed. Oh, I missed. You suck. There. Another Mark II miner. Almost dead, almost dead. I don't generally carry food on me, I still don't, oh well. I'll be fine. All right, let's double that up for 480. That's all our belts can handle anyway. I guess we'll run belts back now. You know, I think it's time to finally change the belts 
on our hot bar. I haven't actually had enough materials lately to do it, but I feel pretty good about it now. Oops, and also I gotta go back. I cannot forget, I almost just left with the belts, but I have to actually plug the machine in. All right. Uh, since that one does 480 and that's all the belt we can get out of here right now, I'm not going to plug in this other machine yet. I'm going to leave the miner there and I will come back and do it um, as soon as I have more belt work or maybe when I get the next speed of belts and then we can put it all on one belt out of here or something, I don't know. I don't think we're going to need more than 480 per minute at the start anyway. I just want to build some windows, so this project's already almost done. And this looks like a perfect roundabout for a truck station. All right, I think I like the look of this spot for a silica factory. Um, it's not that far from the quartz crystal, so all we have to do is run a truck over to get fuel. So the truck will go from here, down here to get fuel, up here to drop off the quartz, and then just do a little loop. Should work out really well, I think. Um, hmm. <laughs> so let's drop a power pod. And a truck station. And then we will build our constructors over here. Sounds good. This is, these power pods are making progress much faster and that makes me much happier. Big fan. First, I have a little pit stop to make. And that is over here to drop off a few more power pods up here to get Caterium wire going, or quick wire I mean. Oh shoot, we're going to need Caterium smelting. So ore generation, smelting, and then quick wire. So I'm going to need a whole another pod. All right, except for this actually has a good bit of battery. So I'm gonna steal the fuel generator because its parts are incredibly valuable. And we'll stick with two right now. We'll do a <clears throat> Caterium smelter and a quick wire factory. So let's let the magic happen. There, that's good enough. Doesn't have to be great. But I'm still excited. Look at all of this Caterium. Alright, I gotta fill these with water and coal, which is gonna be a couple of hand trips. And then we'll build the smelters right here and the constructors right here. Alright, there we've got three smelters going. Set at 45, 45, which is 90, and then 30, which is 120 per minute, which is how much that miner's pulling out. So let's clear a little bit of space. And now we can run, instead of three and a half, I think I'll run three just to make it easy to split. We're not worried about efficiency right here. 
we'll split this into how many do these need again? All right, 12 per minute. So a Mark One belt is plenty. There. Just like that, we're powered. And I'm even going to overclock one to use. I need one to do 16 per minute. And now we have Quickware. Except this is outputting 60, and 60 is 120, so this is 200 a minute. So we're going to want at least a Mark 3 belt. Now that I think about it, pretty sure I used Mark 4 belts over here. I did. I wanna, I'm going to actually change those to Mark 1 because Mark 4 belt material is so much more valuable. There. Quick wire. Let's go build silica. We've got 400 per, 480 per minute. Wow. I'm going to be able to use way more than I need. I'm just going to do three again, just because it's nice and easy to split and combine. All right, I'm out of steel beams. So instead of running over there, I'm just going to use a smaller container. Because I feel lazy. I don't like to be lazy playing Satisfactory. But honestly, this game mode is really, really letting me consciously take cut corners and be okay with it. All right, we want silica. We're gonna need 22 and a half per minute, which means 22 and a half times three is larger than 60. So we will need a mark two belts going into there. And mark one belts are fine for these. A merger and a storage container. Just like that, we're done with silica. So I just say that was 37 and a half times three. So that also fit on a Mark II belt. Uh, except I'm going to use a Mark III belt since I'm almost out of Mark II. I'm almost out of all belting materials. Wait a minute, my brain hurts. Quartz crystal goes there. Yeah, and I can just output it right into these machines. I didn't actually need a storage container here because I don't have to do this part by hand because this is a silica factory. Brilliant. Now we can make windows. Let's go fill up some belt materials and figure out what we're going to do next. We've already done quite a bit. We've set up quartz. We've set up the tractor for it. we set up silica. We set up quick wire and caterium ingot smelting. I bet we could do maybe modular frames and rotors. I wonder what other kinds of crazy things we can do. Oh man, we could put uh, wire and copper uh, cabling right by here so we can hand feed that easily. Let's do that too. Let's, that's what we'll do next. Let's load up two blueprints. Yeah, we need all kinds of materials. Hey, and we've got some vehicle deadlock. Yep, here we are. So I should just be able to see if that fixes it. Yep, there we go. Fixed it right all over my face. If you're ever using vehicles and you're having a problem with them gridlocking, start deleting nodes. Just anything that's near each other. Uh, if their nodes are near another vehicle, they won't phase through it. However, if you delete a bunch of the nodes and they get stuck, eventually they'll just ghost and magically fly to the next node. It's very cool. Makes them very handy. Trucks are the best until they're not. Alright, I am completely out of 
iron plates. I don't have them anywhere. And I don't know what to do. I think, okay, I think what I'll do is I will reduce that to see that I need 83 plates. Okay, I literally just handcrafted the iron plates I needed as a temporary fix, which was, oh, it hurt my soul. Hurt me right in the heart. But now I can place a um, power pod, and we're going to use this to build iron plates and have a little bit more stable iron plate creation. I'll do six. Because then it's still easy to split. All right, splitter right here. And a splitter right here. And a splitter right here. All right, and how many do we need for iron plates? There's no alternate recipe. Thirty per minute. So we need 180 per minute for all of these. All right, we've got this powered. Now all I have to do is drop off this iron and then we can combine it all into a storage container and then we're done. And then we're gonna do the same thing over near this copper smeltery. We're gonna do it for wire, cable, and copper sheets. Great, now that's done. I made a power pot over there for iron plates and then we did one for cable, wire, copper sheets. I put down another pod over there for rotors and one right here for modular frames. So as you can see here, I actually finally have some modular frames. And the silica factory is working quite nicely. And I've sucked up on concrete because I had a great idea of what we could do for the rest of the episode. And that is working on one of the major capstones that I had planned for this season. Uh, pl you know, planned for like the last five minutes or so. Ha! Uh, so I had the idea that why don't we make a big central storage area? A place with the hub, a place with a bunch of train stations and truck stations for bringing materials in and out. And something that we can spot. Uh, if you didn't see my capstone for season one of this, I replicated the Burj Khalifa, which I dubbed the Bed Khalifa. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a card on the screen right now so you can click on that and check it out. Uh, I was really proud of it, and that video didn't get a lot of traction or attention, and that made me feel kind of bad. Uh, but I hope this one turns out better. And I thought, what better place to put it than the Crater Lakes? Because I really like that little biome. And it happens to be quite near to here, just right up where I'm pointing, if you can see that green right there. Uh, there's actually a land ramp that goes up quite nicely right there. So let's head over right there, and we'll start putting down the foundations for... Uh, I don't know what we should call it. Figure it out. Something stupid, surely, or a pun, or something. But yeah, I'm going to run up right there, and then I'll show you where I'm going to put this behemoth of a, a building. Here it is. Look at it, it's gorgeous. These weird pods that look like some sort of thing. Those two guys. Yeah, it's pretty great. I like it a lot. Hmm, although now that I am thinking about it, these lakes kind of get in the way. There's a path right here down the, between them, between the craters that you can have trucks run maybe, but... Hmm. Well, we could use trains too, or build a bridge. Or perhaps I should reconsider this now before I sink a hundred hours into a project and want to change my mind. Okay, I just reconsidered, and I think that because that uh, the trucks, the train around here is going to cause a problem for trucks. So I think instead I'll put it in the northern forest. 
Mm, that's another starting point. Hmm. Well, now I'm hemming and hawing. Okay, I've reconsidered everything again entirely. I am going to keep it in the rocky desert. We'll just put it over here. And that'll be kind of cool, I think. Uh, you know, when you pick the starting biome, granted, we, we play all around the entire map, but I kind of have a special place in my heart right now for this biome. So... Yeah, I'm happy with it. I feel good about my decision, so let's find a good place for this building, though. It's going to be large. Not that big. A couple thousand meters tall. Here we go. This is it. I love it. It's not far. Yeah, okay, this is, this is nice. Let me show you what I've got in mind. First thing we gotta do is make a big circle because it's just gonna be a circular skyscraper. So let's grab some foundations right about here. All right, let me show you how to make a circle in case you don't know. I'm making mine with the foundations three in a row. But you can do it with one, you get a pretty nice circle, or even two. Then you take this catwalk crossing, and you build one right there, and you put it out like this, and then you hold control, left control. And then you can move your mouse wheel to set it, and we just want one tick inward. Just like that. And then we'll reselect the foundations. We're gonna do one, two, again and then I'm just gonna go and replicate this as I go around and around and around the circle and it's going to be quite large I did do a test of this I already tore it down so you can't see because I didn't want to spoil the surprise but yeah it's gonna go three foundations one curve three foundations one curve so let's let me get that done and I'll show you I think at that level up there, if I was to curve that around and make a full complete circle, I could then design the skyscraper on top of that, and then I could custom build the base around it. Which is probably what I should do anyway, because we're going to have truck garage access and trains and stuff like that. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to complete the circle, one circle the same level at that height right there. And then below here, all this stuff will be custom. Uh, the walls and stuff will be customly done. I have finished. And this is excellent. Now, what I need to do is show you how I'm going to use the blueprints I created for this. And the first thing I need to do is set up some markers, which is going to be some pillars. And they need to be right there but down one all right so now this pillar is connected to and straight with this foundation mm, I think I need to actually do this the whole way around I do I need to have markers here, but let me show you real quick what I've made. All right. So we have two here. We've got, let's see, how do I want to do this? We've got a left side one and a right side one. So if I'm placing them in this direction, the right side goes first and then the left side goes there. So I'm doing right side here. And I have to line up the pillar. Okay. So that was right side and now we'll do a left side. can't see that very well. OK, 
Okay, so we'll do the left side again. And it needs to line up that pillar right there. Excellent. Let's give you a view. I would have shown you I didn't have my recording on at the moment when I was trying to form this. And I was doing a lot of this detail work on this window and stuff. And a lot of it was just painting and repainting and stuff. So it wasn't very interesting, but that is one segment. Opens, closes, and then this will be repeated around and all the way up to the um, build height. Except I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to build off of this as well because otherwise that would be really uniform and just plain. But uh, I think it should have enough added interest and then on the inside we can add lights and stuff like that. So I took a break from playing to go and eat some dinner. And I was thinking about how difficult it was for me to line up the blueprint. And I had the realization that I'm fairly certain that blueprints snap to foundations um, much better than anything. And so I had the thought that I should put lining foundations on this thing. Let's see where the center point would be. So right here. Uh, here that's right right yeah right there and then at the top there let's try out our new blueprint can we get one I think I can put it side there all right let's just All right, and this is the right side, which is this one. And then, oh yeah, that's gonna be way easier. Oh yeah, that was the key. Okay, there you go. Note to everybody, using blueprints the way they're intended to be is going to make it much easier, except I can't see can't actually see if I'm near. I'm too far away. There we go. There we go. All right, now let's try the left one. This is gonna make building skyscrapers. Now, if you go back and check out the um, the Bed Khalifa, I can't remember exactly how many hours it took me. I wanna say 60 or 80 hours. It took me a long time. I was trying to complete it for a contest and I was like a month uh, past uh, on uh, a building contest on the subreddit. And uh, anyway, <laughs> this, uh, this would have saved me so much time. Okay, this is going pretty well now that I've got a little bit of a pattern down. I went and refilled all my concrete and silica, and I realized pretty quick I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of <clears throat> I'm gonna run out of concrete and have to stop and wait because I just don't generate that much. Might be a good reason to go and build a bigger concrete factory. I'm not sure why I decided to try to film a talking bit of me while I was trying to angle that perfectly. Okay, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep doing this for an hour or so. See how far I get. Progress is great. I just threw down 11 constructors because 480 per minute divided by 45 is 10 and 2 thirds. So I'm just gonna run 11. And uh, the limestone comes up right there, it gets split to all those, recombined into this area here, and then we'll just be 
picked up and dropped off. So now we need to run, make sure this is set to unload, and run a tractor over here. We are getting some traffic back up here at the fueling depot. I think my rate of trucks is finally catching up with the rate of what these can do effectively. So, I hate the idea of building, well, I'm gonna have to build a new fuel depot. A uh, revamped one larger with more lanes and then I'm going to have to re-record every single truck path. That does not sound enjoyable, but it must be done, so we will work on that. But next time. This one I want to build this tower. And I might forget, or not want to do it next episode, but someday soon we need to do it because we're going to hit a bottleneck otherwise of what our logistical transportations can handle. All right, let's um, let's build a hypertube launcher. And since I'm going to be going back and forth to that build a lot for right now, I'm going to build a hypertube and not a hypertube entrance, a hypertube support. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then down like that. Okay, and then a hypertube entrance right there. I think that's right. I hope I remember how to do this. So one, two, three, four, and over one. One, two, three, four, and over one. I can't remember if this is right. And like this. I that I missed. I having a mare. Alright. This looks right, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna need one hyper tube entrance there and there, and then we're gonna need to steal some power from somewhere. There seems fine. Okay, and if this doesn't work, it's gonna launch me. If I go in the wrong way, it's gonna launch me backwards. So let's put up some walls. I'm not sure, that might need to be on a support too. Let's make sure I have fuel and we'll try it. Yeah, that worked. If you couldn't follow along like that, boy, I sh should. Well, I could probably find. You can find new tutorials on YouTube, or maybe I'll make one. Be something easy to do. All right, look at this progress. I have changed up a couple things in my blueprint. You can see the different iterations kind of evolving <laughs> as we go right here. Uh, the current iteration is actually working pretty well. Uh, so, I stand on this level here. I'm standing on a lime foundation, which means I need to put a left down. And the way I have these offset from the top and the bottom, I can't, uh, I can show you. So the lime one down there is offset by one. So standing on lime, hit the left button, which is my hotkey nine. And then I just look down here, line it up, just like that. Now for red, right, same thing. I just look back. Make sure it's lined up, uh, come on, right there, and there. It's perfect. And this is uh, really allowing me to go uh, quicker. Picking up speed is key. I've doubled my concrete production. I woke up in a start yesterday morning at 5 in the morning, and I don't like to get up early. But I woke up because I could not get enough concrete, and I had expanded it 
to another floor. You can see it right here. I can expand the concrete factory, add another floor. I forgot to put that belt in. <laughs> I woke up at 5 a.m. Uh, and it had occurred to me while I was sleeping that I forgot to do this. And oh, what a dummy. So I hooked that belt and now I'm getting a lot more concrete and this is gonna go quite a bit faster, although it's still really slow progress. But uh, yeah, make some more progress and then I'll show you the results. Look at that beautiful start we made. Holy cow. I have to stop, though. It is uh, a grind. The amount of concrete that this build is consuming is astronomical. I think this is 220... I think this is about 120,000 bags of concrete so far and a bunch of silica. The uh, little amount of silica I am producing has seemed to be enough. The big hiccup is waiting on the concrete all the time. Making sure the limestone miners have fuel. There's one there and another one over there. Uh, I got to building for a long time and didn't realize they'd run out of fuel. And it's just a pain. Um, so this is the progress we've made. And I'm going to have to end the episode there. This is going to have to be a multiple episode build. Um, you can see I built scaffolding up. And then I wanted to see where the build limit was. And then that's where I ran, right about there is where I ran out of materials. So I kept, um, I'd build nine and then walk up to the top and then delete the last nine and then build it at the top and then go all the way up to right there, which is the build limit. If you stand at the very top of that top wall right there, you will start dying. So not even what, not even halfway, but uh, we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. I just need to uh, wait on concrete more and it's taking in the dozens of hours of waiting, as opposed to the couple of hours or few hours that I wanted. I will say this, building this with the blueprints, uh, compared to say the Burj Khalif I built last time, it's just amazing. This is only, if I had a unlimited resources and I could just use those blueprints that I showed you and just run around, I could have probably done all this in about an hour and a half, I wanna say, after I got my, uh, after I got a, a, into the groove. Uh, another thing I really want to do is unlock trains. So we're going to do the... Uh, oh, it's going to take me forever to... Okay, so I don't have enough beams or heavy metal frames or computers. But between episodes, I'll handcraft these up and then we'll launch these. And I, I really want to redo this fuel drop-off and loading into a nice train station. And then I'm just going to do a push-pull, a back-and-forth train that's going to bring fuel in, take empties back, and then bring fuel in and take empties back. And then I'll use trucks to distribute those. And we are going to start our permanent infrastructure. None more of this temporary garbage. These power pods are amazing, but they still need to be hand fed. They still run out of power, and I don't always notice right away. And then they stop functioning. This uh, little structure here as well is not great. Uh, I really wanted to see how it works with the tractors going through a central fueling station. Well, they get backed up. Uh, that's pure and simple. It's it's not as effective as it could be. So what I'm going to do instead is turn this one and that coal, uh, the one that drops off the coal for the water power, I'm going to turn that into one big coal distro center. And then we will use a truck to drive from wherever I build it uh, to each factory. And then I'll show you. Okay, so like here in the concrete factory, instead of having each one of these four trucks, or five actually, because two bring limestone in right now, each of the five trucks that go here, instead of having them swing by that middle area to get coal fuel, I'll have one truck station here, somewhere on the outside probably, like maybe right over here, and then it'll drop coal off here, and then I'll run a belt into the back of each of these, so each of these will fuel the truck that's delivering or um, delivering or bringing in yeah so that's the plan for the next episode it is time to start our main permanent infrastructure and we are going to start using the fuel that we did in the first few episodes and we're going to start knocking factories out and that's going to be it and it's going to be great and i'll see you next time
I'm glad that didn't stick to you.